Hi, this video is a step-by-step -step detailed guide showing how to disassemble and upgrade the 2019 Acer Predator Helios 300. I will show you how to safely swap out the RAM, SSD and hard drive, so if you worry about breaking something, this guide is for you. In the video description you can find recommended storage drives and RAM compatible with the 2019 Helios 300. If you want to skip to any part of this video, you can use the timestamps down below. I'm Chris from techfindsreview.com and now let's get to work. Before we start, it's worth mentioning that on HDD Upgrade Kit there is a sticker which says that upgrading it on your own might affect the warranty and you can send the laptop to Acer service to get it done by professionals. I recommend you to read your warranty terms or contact Acer since it might vary between countries. To get access to the components, we need to remove all the bottom lid, so get a small screwdriver and remove 10 screws holding it in place. Now you can take off the lid. It let go very easily in my case, but if it still sits tight on your laptop, you need to get some thin piece of plastic and slide around the body of the laptop to release it. There are little tabs still holding it in place. You will feel the exact spots where they are located. Once it's done, you can pull out the lid and inside you can find your 2.5 inch drive bay, two slots for M.2 SSD and two RAM slots. It's good to disconnect the battery before you start changing components, but I usually don't do that, so I will get to the hard drive first. You have to wrap the blue rubber frame around the hard drive, making sure that the pins fit to the holes and the bottom side of the hard drive is covered by a thin rubber stripe on the opposite edges. I'm using Seagate FireCuda hybrid drive that costs a little bit more than a regular HDD, but in proper conditions it can work with nearly the same speeds as SSD. You can check it out in the link below the video. Now take the ribbon cable and plug it into the motherboard. It's kind of tricky, if the slot is closed you have to carefully open it the way I show. And then put the cable inside with the blue side up and close the flap. Now connect your hard drive with SATA connector. It will fit only one way so you can't go wrong. I made one mistake when I was recording, because I fit the drive inside the drive bay the top side up. Simply ignore what I did and put the drive upside down, so its bottom and pins are on the top. The cable should be above the drive and you have to match the rubber with the ridges down here. Alright, it's done, so now I will show you how to add RAM. This is very simple process, just take one RAM stick and slide it into the slot at an angle. Then press it down until you hear a click. If you want to take it out, on the sides you have two little tabs, if you push them both, RAM will pop out. If you don't know which RAM you should buy, you can check the list with compatible RAM in the description. If it comes to M.2 SSD you have two slots, but by default the Predator comes with only one SSD so you have one slot free for another drive. There are only two screws to remove and the metal cover with thermal pad, which is sticky. To take it off, move it carefully in different directions, slowly pulling up at the same time until it lets go. Now you can pull out the SSD. To install the new one, just do the steps vice versa. I will install the same SSD in the second slot, just to show you how to do it. Slide the drive into the slot at an angle and push it down. Next, take the metal cover and place it on your SSD. Now screw the screws in and it's done. Now if you disconnected the battery, don't forget to connect it back. If you're done, place the lid on the laptop and push it down around the edges to make sure that every tab clicked. Now screw the screws in and it's done. Alright, that's all for today and I hope your upgrade was successful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.